Okay, so we are here at European Champs in Silvella, here in Italy. Uh, in summary, the course is muddy, but uh, I will take you around for a lap and we'll see what's up. So this is the start straight. Tarmac, fast, all pretty good. Then we turn right. This is going to be quite a tight start. And then it's pretty much straight into the mud. Not into the mud. This really isn't actually too bad compared to the rest of the course. This is just a bit slick on top. Tight left hand here, which will be interesting in the race. Oh. Oh. Into the hurdles. Probably rideable, but not as fast. Into the mud again. Now to get speed to this bridge, which is very hard to do. Oh. Good thing about the bridges though, is you get some speed down the other side. another relatively dry part of the course a few inside ruts forming nice big rut here that's formed as well main characteristic on this course is the mud and the fact that you're going to be pedaling for like all the time if you're not pedaling, you're probably running. So, very heavy on the legs, heavy on the glutes. Yeah, heavy. There will definitely be some sketchy moments in the race where you come close to the barrier but the important thing is just to let your bike move and the <clears throat> into the pits first time around we a bit of respite get your bike changed and uh Get ready for the next part of the course. Into the first stitch. It will be hard to judge where we're going to be riding and not riding today just because the conditions will change by the time we get around to tomorrow's race. So right now, you can ride this stuff but uh, as more people start to run, it will just get harder and harder. There's very little green grass left anywhere for you to ride on. It's all mud. Some of these corners are pretty deadly because when you get to the turn, the apex, all of the top mud has been uh, slid away, so you're just left with very slick, slick mud underneath. Into one of the main streets. Oh, nope, I'm wrong. Into a bit, a few more corners. Big rut there. 
He's not going to get that very well. Just trying to find the green grass, see if it'll actually make any difference at all. Doesn't really. <clears throat> As soon as you lose your flow here, you're really struggling for speed. I don't know if it's always like this in Italy, but yes, yeah, this mud is like clay. It's very smooth, fine, and uh, gets absolutely everywhere. I predict that this will all be running tomorrow, pretty much. If you look at the speed I'm riding it today, basically a walking pace. Ah, into the sun now. It's kind of like a gravel sun, so really not very high. So uh, it's all being compacted down. And uh, yes, not too high. Actually a bit of a, a respite to from the rest of the course. Okay. Into another big mud section. There are not really ruts to follow. It's all just mud. But uh, yeah, where there are ruts, they're usually very close to the barriers and quite deadly. There is a high line over here, but it really does just feel just as high. Another bitch slash banking to deal with. These are going to be brutal in the race. Now onto a relatively fast part of the course. It's just normal grass. This is probably one of the toughest. Because as you can see, it's very long. I'm gonna run. I say run, I'm gonna walk with my bike. There's not really gonna be a place to do this in the race. You're gonna have to keep on pushing, whether that's on the bike or running. Um, yeah, very tough. Here come some of the Belgian boys running with their bikes. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes, all of this will be running. Hopefully they have remounted. So uh, yeah, these corners aren't actually Oh, not actually too bad, so we will give them a ride as well. My bike at this point is getting very heavy, probably weighs about 15 kilos. Um, yes, so half lap changes for sure. Outside here is actually not too muddy. It's a long way around, but actually, I take it back, it has just become totally muddy again. Let's see if we can 
Alright, this section here is on the outside. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, I did ride that last lap, but it's got even harder. You see, actually, Ellie's a bit there. Totally out of breath, taking a rest. And we're only about a third of the way around the course. So I think uh, that shows really how physically challenging this course is for everyone. Pros included. Not a fast part of the course here, so um, when I say fast, we're doing about 16 kilometers an hour. Okay? Over the river, into more mud. Into the second sand section now. Starts with a very deep rut. And then the faster line is actually over to the left. It's not quite as rutted. Yeah, the sand isn't really sand. It's kind of gravel. And um, it's just going to play havoc with your gears, really. It's just going to get everywhere. Bit of a fast bit here, almost downhill, you could say. Big ruts formed, and the mud here is actually a bit wetter, which is uh, quite welcome. Hello, this is crazy. into the mud again, got another bridge, a bit more of a defined line here. Another ditch there probably getting to the point where it's not rideable. Um, yeah, very hard. Holding on to the barriers now. What are you saying, Rory? Uh, maybe by tomorrow, it just depends how uh, sticky it's going to get. No ditch, for good measure. Hey all, I'm good, thank you. It's through the pits. I'm going to be done after this, so I'll go back. Cheers, Murray. Through the pits, second time. You would definitely have changed multiple times by now. More mud. Outside line here. See what that's like. Not too bad, actually. Then, before that wasn't enough, we have steps. Just to finish you off, before you get back onto the tarmac. Okay, so, uh, yeah, your legs are probably gonna be burning by now, but steps just make sure that it's been hard enough. Last little bit of mud. And breathe. Oh, so yes, European champs in Italy. It's a ruthless course. Um, yes, the fastest person will pretty much just ride and run away from the rest. Thanks for watching. We'll see you Sunday for the racing. I'm in the U23. Tom is racing up with the elites. I think it'll be a savage race, basically. Cheers.